Like first in the corner with a missed three. DeMar DeRozan to four court. DeRozan turns, fires, and splashes it down from the baseline. I think the Pistons had designs on doubling DeMar DeRozan that time, but he made his move so quickly, they didn't have a chance to get another guy over there. 61 to 50 Chicago. Killy into the basket. That's it and scores it. With his patented mid-range pull-up jump shot. 61 to 52 Chicago. Vucevic open at the foul line, but misses off the heel to Killian Hayes. Killian behind the back, beats New, fakes the three. Topside Killian, he'll take the three. It won't fall. Levine boards it. Zach Levine to four court, still with it, all the way to the rim, misfired. Around and off to Boyan Bogdanovich. Boyan down the lane of the rim. He lays it up and lays it in. This is with a little quick pace transition. Bogey with 14. Bulls not set to play defense. They were made to pay. Seven-point lead for Chicago. That's all. Final minute, first half. Vucevic no looks to Levine. Levine shot in and out. Tapped up and in by Caruso. What a perfect Right rebound. place, right time. Yep, what a... That rebound found Caruso, not the other way around. 63-54 Chicago. Killian against Alex Caruso. Boyan sees a little daylight, gets to the basket, scores it off the glass. Hit the floor, thought he was fouled, but he'll take the two. It's 63 to 56, Bulls. That was almost a, an and one situation. Yeah. Well, not an end, it was almost an and one, but it was definitely a two for one. This is going to get it back. DeRozan with the turn and gun from the mid range. His favorite place to be. He scores again. 65 56 to Mark DeRozan with 14. Sure. You see what just happened? The Pistons were called for an eight second violation. They did not get the ball, get the ball over half court in time, and there was no pressure on them. You almost never see that. Yeah. It's not the 10-second line anymore, folks. It's the 8-second line. 12 seconds to play in the half. Patrick Williams in front of Vucevic. And he threw it away. <laughs> he thought Caruso was over there. The only person over there was assistant coach Jerome Allen. So the Pistons, they swap turnovers with the Bulls. And the Pistons will get the last possession of this quarter. Jerome Allen, a star at Penn and a pro himself. Watches Killian miss, trying to follow it up with Alec Burks. And was he fouled before time ran out? That would be negative. In that case, time has run out.